Hello everybody, and welcome to the assembly video for the camper birdhouse. So if you're from the YouTube channel and you don't know what's going on, this is for the Etsy shop. Uh, this is going to be the tutorial video on how to assemble the birdhouse kit on our Etsy shop. So if you're not from Etsy and you're from the YouTube channel, go over there, check it out, and you'll be able to order this from us. Uh, and if you're from the Etsy shop and you linked over to this video for assembly uh, instructions, well, you're in the right spot. And we're going to be going over some of this here. So you're going to get a set of directions. They may be different than this. Uh, I just printed out the quick rough drafts of everything here. And they're all pictured, kind of numbered out, even though we're not going to have numbers on the parts themselves for these, even though they have numbers here. Um, so I'll just kind of disregard those, but anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first piece we're going to be working on is the actual trailer frame, camper frame here. And we're going to need each piece for the wheels. They're going to come in two sets. One has a large hole, one has a smaller hole, and these will be stacked like so. So on this here, you can see there is a stepped slots. This is actually for these wheels. So you take the one with the larger hole first and you'll slide it on. They kind of have a little snap. Then you'll take the one with the rim and they will slide on. And you just do the same thing for the other side. All right, the next step we're gonna be doing is assembling the whole camper shell around the frame here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get these two pieces, they're very identical, but they're slightly different. If you line them up, you'll be able to see one is slightly bigger. So you'll find out which is front and back when you try to insert them into the slots there. Back window. This is your front window. This would be the roof. This is the back bumper. And of course, you got your sides. Now when assembling these, it may be easier for you to lay one of the sides down and actually try to assemble one side and then stack all your pieces around and then put your other side down on top so for the frame they got two slots on the bottom and they'll line up with these two slots down here on the side like so now for these two pieces here one will be slightly smaller tabbed and one will be slightly larger the larger one will go into the front of the frame. Okay, this part you're gonna need a little patience for is trying to get all these to line up together with this. So I suggest just working from a side, a corner, and just kind of work your way around aligning all the pieces you need. And try not to press anything all the way down in. Just try to get the slots lined up with each other.
Okay, once your patient's been tested and you got all this together, we will stand it up. And now it's all just the outside accessories. Windows, ladders, trim piece, and also the uh, hitch for the front, the jack stand. So on the opposite side of the hole, this side here, you'll have two pieces that look like this. The smaller one will be the sill for this window. And it's going to be a tight fit. The back bumper, these two slots will slide over these. Now for the jack stand here, you'll have this and this as your feet down here, the shaft going up, and this will be the piece on top that'll kind of cap it all together. So these will slide into each other. flush this will slide up from underneath and this piece will go on top now for the vent here You'll have these two little pieces that look like boats and the rectangle with two square holes in it. These will connect in here like so. The little back part of the boat will pop inside the hole. And just make sure they both face the same direction. So, and then on the camper, these two pegs go into those two slots. Next up, we will go ahead and do the ladder. So for the ladder, you'll have those two pieces as the sides of your ladder. And then these are gonna be each of your steps. So on the ladder, the short end here with the peg sticking up will be facing up like so. so. These will sit together and then they'll snap on this way. Each one of the rungs will sit flush on each side and they'll butt up against this inner piece like so. There you go. And that's all assembled. I'll put these two slots right there together. The other sill looking piece will actually go right here in these two pegs underneath the base for the flower.
These here are going to be the wings that actually sit on the sides, back sides of the camper here. And then these will be the little pegs to hold them in place. So for these guys, you'll slide the peg in first. And then this will go in this small hole up here. And just repeat for the next side. Okay, and the final piece for this is going to be the front window canopy. So here, this piece here will be our little window sill. These will be the two supports for the canopy and the canopy itself. The triangles will sit in this direction with the larger peg facing camper wall, like so. The small peg will be holding the canopy and will pop through here at the bottom. We'll take our window sill and pop that through the bottom slot. Then we'll take our canopy into these two slots here. Oh, and there we go. We have the completely assembled camper now. Um, this is MDF material. Um, it will be labeled that on the shop. So for outdoor use, um, I would try to keep it out of any kind of moisture rain out in the open. Uh, MDF does not like moisture. Um, I would use a type A stain slash sealer maybe for like decking outdoor use something of the sort i think i actually have some i'll show you guys if you guys can find me something like this uh of course not a whole big can they might have something smaller but it's just an exterior stain and sealer for decking and outdoor furniture and stuff that would probably help a lot if you're having the gonna have this hanging outside like by a tree or something where it can get rained on uh, I would suggest keep it under in the porch or if you even just want it as decoration inside that'd be great you wouldn't have to do anything to it at all um, I will let you guys know if I'm able to get some cedar or something like that in a good size like this you know about three millimeters thick if I can find some I will definitely um, switch up the wood and there might be a price difference, of course, um, with MDF. It's quite a bit cheaper. So there you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. If you're from the shop, thank you for coming over here and checking it out. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff and you want to see more things that we put together. Um, of course, if you're from the YouTube channel, I would uh, suggest you guys go check out the shop and kind of see what we got going on there and see what you guys think. Um, I appreciate everybody, and thank you guys, and I will see you later.